Black-legged tick is a species of tick that is of concern to human health because it can carry pathogens. Um, people in Manitoba should be aware that uh, those ticks are not only uh, found in the spring with our friendly wood tick, but also um, in, later in the summer and in the fall. So you can find black-legged ticks until snowfall. So you need to be aware that whenever you go out, you should check for ticks. And why it's important for public health and for human health is that they can transmit uh, bacteria that cause Lyme disease. Um, they can also transmit other pathogens, other bacteria and protozoa that can affect human health. The first thing people will say is the size. The black-legged ticks are a little bit, uh, they're smaller, but you can have some smaller wood ticks as well. So I think the best way is really the color. Our wood ticks have sort of white or silvery markings on their backs. Uh, both the males and females do, um, whereas the black-legged ticks don't have white markings at all and they're darker in color. Uh, the males look like black sesame seeds. They're very small and they're all black. And the females uh, are also smaller and they have black and brown, no white whatsoever. Not all black-legged ticks carry pathogens. Um, so it's not because you have a black-legged tick that automatically there's Lyme disease. So just like other organisms, uh, some are sick, some aren't, right? So, so far in, um, in Manitoba, it's about 10% of the black-legged ticks that we have tested that are positive for Borrelia. Borrelia is the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. Um, we're also testing for Anaplasma phagocytophilum, which is another bacteria, and that causes also a human disease called uh, human granul granulocytic anaplasmosis. So that's another one. And it, um, when ticks are sent to the National Microbiology Lab, they're automatically tested for that. And there's a new, uh, well, it's not new, but it's newly found here in Manitoba. Uh, it's a protozoan, it's called Babesia microti, and that's also being tested. And that's, it's, I guess, it's similar to the malaria parasite, except it doesn't attack the liver like malaria does, but it, it's the same type of pathogen. So all these three are known to be transmitted by black-legged ticks. So of course, because we now have the black-legged ticks here, they're on the radar.